All right, so I've got my lemons, I've got my water, I've got a towel because I'm gonna be making a mess. There's gonna be water everywhere. Now I'm just trying to think how I'm gonna record this while I'm taking the photo. Hmm. So I just had an idea for a photo. I was just doing some working out and I went and got a drink of water, chucked some limon in it, as you can see. And um, as I was drinking it, I come up with an idea for a photo. I've seen some people take photos of like water, particles, and all that, and then dropping like full lemons or something in water, getting all the particles up in the air, and it looks really, really cool. And I know that Peter McKinnon, if you don't know Peter McKinnon and you're a photographer, you've been living under a rock. What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon here. Welcome back to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. But he sets up a challenge now that we're all in isolation. Every Tuesday, he'll set up a photo challenge and he, he'll give you like one word. Like I think last week or two weeks ago, it was isolation. So this week he's done the word contrast and I want to get a picture of the lemon water, cut up lemons falling into the water, getting all the particles. I want to have everything black and white except for the lemon. And that's going to be like very vibrant yellow. So let's see if we can do that. So the aim is to move all this shit here and clear this space, push the table up against the wall so that I have the lights. What the fuck am I doing with my arm? So I have the lights um, pointing on the table where I will have the glass with the limo. <laughs> this yesterday and the next day it's just all I feel like one of those guys in those Daniel's direct ads where they're like are you sick of chords yeah. oh, so I almost set up I just gotta set up these lights and go cut me a lemon let's go right. we have two lemons here I want more because I'm gonna have to cut them up please have lemons yes Water. All right, so I've got my lemons, I've got my water, I've got a towel because I'm gonna be making a mess. Um, there's gonna be water everywhere. Now I'm just trying to think how I'm gonna record this while I'm taking the photo. Hmm. Hey, hey, mum, how you going? Good, what's up? Can I borrow your phone? I need to film um, something again with your, using your camera on your phone. My box in the house, I know. Yeah, I know, I just need, uh, what's your code to get into the phone? Six. Awesome. Thank you. Bye. Now I can film with this phone while I'm taking photos with this camera. So I've got the lights kind of set up in the way that I want and I'm shooting on the nifty 50 uh, 50 millimeter Canon lens. Not really sure how this is gonna go, but we'll give it a, we'll give it a little, little we'll give it a crack just realized something that I need a second person to drop the actual lemons in the glass because I'm gonna be too far away when I'm taking a photo and I don't have a tripod to set the camera up on and set it on a timer can I please ask for your help father no please no. can I please grab your help I need you to drop some lemons in a glass for us
So that's all done. Let's take a look at what we just created. Lemon photos. At the start of the day when I had the idea in my head of what I wanted the photo to look like, did it turn out how I imagined? Uh, yes. This is pretty much exactly what I was hoping the photo to look like. And the composition is cool because it's kind of like it's equal throughout all. You have some of the particles blurred out, some of the particles in focus, which I think it gives that a bit of depth to the photo. But yeah, I wanted to make everything grey and let the lemon, the colour of the lemons really pop. I wanted to see what they look like with colour, so I added in the colour of the wall behind me. Um, which is the blue and it kind of gave a cool effect with the glass and but yeah I think if you're someone who does photography and you like making these YouTube videos like I do it's very hard to get the motivation or the I don't know the inspiration to make these videos you procrastinate a lot because that's what I've been doing I've been really stopping myself from making these kind of videos because I'm thinking is the camera in the right angle I haven't got a flip so the camera I'm filming on now doesn't have a flip screen, so I don't know what I'm what I look like. But it's kind of also laziness as well. I have to keep going back behind the camera, check it, make sure it's in focus, make sure I'm in frame. All these little things come into it, and I've got so many different ideas. I think of ideas when I'm listening to podcasts, when I'm laying in bed, ready to go to sleep, when I'm eating, I think of ideas. And I do write these ideas down sometimes. Sometimes I like to just try and remember it. Let's face it, most of the time I, I forget about them. But then when I go through all my notes and I see all the ideas that I did write down, I start thinking about it way too much. And so what's different about today is that I was working out, I had the idea, I said, you know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna do it right now. So I stopped what I was doing and I just started creating. In the end, outcome, we here. I've created a video for you guys and I've gotten these mad photos, which I'm going to post now on Instagram and enter that Peter McKinnon challenge. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with how today panned out. So I think the last tip I'll leave you guys with is use this time in isolation, use this time in quarantine to work on your skills, work on your talents, if you want to get better as a videographer or a photographer, anything like that, grind. Get on YouTube, spend a whole day just looking at YouTube videos, YouTube tutorials or anything like that. Practice creates magic. You know, I just thought of that one the other day. Someone mentioned practice makes perfect and that's a saying everyone throws around and it's true, like in a sense, but I never liked the word perfect because nothing is ever perfect. I was thinking, what does practice make? Practice, it creates magic. When I say magic, I'm not talking about Harry Potter and all that. I'm talking about magic in the creative industry. I just like using that term in, in relation to what I create. Practice creates magic. And on that note, guys, if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps my channel out a great deal. And with all that said and done, I'll catch you in the next one.